the thriving city of Waterpool. Welcome back everybody, I'm Keralus and as always, always, I'm gonna be your captain throughout this episode, so just sit back, relax and enjoy. This is City Skylines. And first of all, I just wanna say thank you so much for all the amazing feedback from the previous episode when we built the airport. You guys are absolutely amazing and it's so cool, like reading you guys suggestions on, the, on what we can improve and whatnot and then just doing it in game. I mean, we're playing this together and that's kind of it's an awesome feeling so thank you so much and the first and like most common suggestion was replace the gravel roads with normal roads and that is what we did i'm kind of not maybe digging the super black roads in this in this occasion but i'm gonna go with them anywho because i think this looks pretty amazing so thank you so much everybody and also the pappy system that was so mixed by the way some people told me you place them correctly, Corrales. They should be on the left side of the runway. Some people are like, they should be on the both sides of the runway. So, I need to Google this. Because that was really mixed. In my opinion, both sides of the runway would be kind of cool. Or correct way to place them. But you know what? Doesn't matter. I'm not going to RP them. They are here to stay. The puppy puppy lights. And, as well, name suggestion. You know what? This is going to be really simple. It is by Lik Chi Lao. Uh, Lik Chi Lao, I'm sorry if I'm, I'm pronouncing this totally wrong, wrong, but Lik Chi Lao. Waterpu International Airport. It is very simple, but it got the most upvotes in the comment section. So, Waterpu International Airport. There we go. Thank you so much, Lik Chi Lao. I'm truly really sorry if that's totally wrong. And in today's episode, you know what? I don't really have any big plans. I'm just going to be fixing bits and pieces. And I did add some stuff here. Meanwhile, I took up the suggestion on adding some hotels because that was kind of requested by you guys. So I did download this this thing. It's a unique building. Embrace yourself. It is called Torres El Faro and Puerto Madero. <laughs> uh, Torres, I don't know. This tower, right? Towers or something. Towers El something. But not really sure where this is located in the world. But it looks beautiful and it's an amazing asset to the whole airport uh, shablang. And also, look at this, by the way. <laughs> this is my Minecraft character. Somebody built a park for me, and it's 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 semi-derp. I'm not really sure what I'm doing with the hand. Hopefully that's not the, 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 the sign, you know, the sign. But uh, I'm here, and that's kind of cool. So if you guys ever build anything, do send, do email me that uh, link or something for it, or just, just spam away that in the comment section because I'm more than happy to taking up assets and just using them. So look at it! It's pretty! And also I did add this as a unique building which is the Hotel Astrum Palace. It's a hotel because you guys told me put some hotels here. So there, there we got that. And you know what? It's gonna be that episode I'm just gonna be talking a bunch of stuff and doing random stuff. I had a, an amazing idea right and I searched for it and I did found, find a little thingy. This one over here is a racetrack fence. So I was like, yeah, before this episode started, I was like, yeah, bopping down. And I mean, look at this. It costs 10 bucks, but it's no upkeep cost. I was like super happy. I was like bopping down over, over, all over the place. And I thought like, oh, this is going to be such a cool addition to the airport because it's going to be like surrounded with fencing and whatnot. The problem, it gives us birds and <laughs> birds in an airport. That's such a bad combination. So I can't have it here. I kind of wish this wasn't a park, I guess. I don't know, but then again, I, if it, was, it wouldn't be a park, I wouldn't be able to pop it down. So, the birds in parks, why? Why do you have to be birds? Why you bird? No bird. That would be so awesome, but if anyone else building a racetrack or just want to use fencing, this is just amazing for you guys. Racetrack fence 1. X1. So do pick it up of the Steam Workshop. And look at this. I did place this little airport here, which I did download as well. It is the Municipal uh, Moon M Airport, all right? And I think this means this is kind of like a really small, really tiny regional airport to like the distances, like in the in the outbacks, for example. As you can see, there's a little tiny planes inside here, and it kind of looks cool. I don't think it kind of does anything. It does cost a little money, but it looks amazing, so I'm gonna keep it anyhow. And one more suggestion from you guys. Sorry, I'm just babbling about. Was that I should be using? There's like uh, there's a mod with uh, zonable paths, which can be used by emergency vehicles, for example. 
I got that mod. The problem is, as soon as I activate that mod, every single bush disappears on my map. And bush? No. We need to have the trees and bushes. I mean, that's just beautiful. That's kind of what does the place amazing, right? So I can't use it, but uh, that would be really cool because you can just place them all over the place and just kind of make it like really professional. But I, I like I like this airport. I, I like it. Palm trees. Oh my god, you guys kind of hated them. I did remove the sand, by the way. So you didn't like the sand, so I did remove the sand. But what goes for the palm trees, eee, let's keep them for now. We're gonna see where this, this takes us, all right? And I was thinking, over here in Saudi Arabia, what we could do in a later stage is this. We can just do a little, like, I don't know what you're gonna call them, sand dunes of some type. Oh, can't you pay? Oh, crapper. Maybe we can't do sand dunes. Because I, I kind of thought that, oh, that would be just an amazing addition, having like sand dunes and just painting that with sand and adding the palm trees. But I guess you can't. Well, that sucks. That sucks. But hey, it is what it is. So, in today's episode, first of all, I kind of thought, this, this is going to be like the longest introduction to a video ever, but hey, it is what it is. We need to connect this with a train track, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna connect this with a subway station. We're gonna expand a little bit of suburbs, maybe here or here. And we're just gonna do bits and pieces, I guess. One more cool thing which I downloaded, and this is kind of this is really useful for you guys if you play the game. It is this one over here. It is called a power relay. And what this does, this basically jumps the power. So it kind of acts like a, like a, those, uh, those wires, the electric wires, the power lines. But look at this. Pop them down here, pop them down here, pop them down here. So as you can see, they're kind of like super invisible. And it's just a little box like this. And it kind of skips the power. So thank you for that suggestion, by the way. Because I've been using Pura Puppies. Uh, put a potties, uh, pop, <laughs> not puppies. Uh, those guys over here, as as that, and also signs and stuff. So for you guys who kind of like, yeah, kind of hate the power lines, this is just a super win for you guys. So so j do pick it up. But yeah, let's get started. So first, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I did grab something else, which I kind of thought like this. This was actually suggested by you guys. IKEA. We got one over here. Uh, let me just see here here and you were like if there's no Ikea at the airport I don't know what I'm gonna do so I did search for an Ikea and there's actually another Ikea here in the unique building some which somebody made let me just see if I can find I think it's this one Ikea by Ozo and this is brand new it does cost a little bit it does cost a little noise pollution and it's not that expensive around 20 bucks per week so I was thinking you guys wanted an Ikea so let's place one more here at the airport can I squeeze you in here oh no that's gonna destroy that mojo um maybe here perfect and take a peek at this we were spraying the meatballs <laughs> can you guys see the airplanes this is just nuts up in the sky it's beautiful what does this say change begins at home meatballs yeah totally i just love how people I'd, how what do people use do you just like 3d applications to create stuff like this because this is just amaze balls and now i think what we could use is a little power relay here about somewhere just to connect it let me just go can i do it here see perfect it is so hidden away it's not a power wire power wire it's just this little thingy so that is just amazing so thank you thank you uh, that you can uh, mention that because i wouldn't have figured that out so let's just do this first it's not gonna be an episode filled with detail work well maybe <laughs> we just don't know hopefully it's not gonna be one of those because we had just had two in a row and uh, i don't know if that is boring for you guys you will have to let me know okay because i don't want to like just do detail working because that kind of like just, just i don't know it's, i mean it's like yesterday's episode on airport is like 45 minutes or something and it's just you here you here for example perfect so that's got to, got to be the parking lot for ikea but yeah you, you guys watching this i mean i'm recording this i'm just sitting playing a video game but the viewers you have to decide can i do something like this over to the parking lot though and then maybe just take it down let me see that's like four tiles so that's four tiles um, do the same here, maybe on this side. So, let me see here. Is that one more? Bam! Go over to this side, and you go down. Perfect! And then, can we? 
Yes, we can. <laughs> the ugliest creation ever made. <laughs> but I love it anyhow. I mean, it kind of gives it a little cool ambiance and vibe. And I know, I know some people have a big issue with this, by the way. And I'm just going to address the issue. Um, is when I'm, is my breathing noise? A lot of you guys are really bothered that you can hear me breathe, and I'm like, I'm sorry for being alive. But no, honestly, like, I got a pretty sensitive microphone, and I'm pretty close to it, and there's a reason for that. Uh, I got a, I got a two two year old son at this point, but ever since he was born, I've been sitting sitting really close to the microphone, kind of like super super quiet because I don't want to wake them up and stuff. So that is just a habit which has just gone through like forever now. So I'm so sorry if you can hear me breathe. I'm sorry for being alive. No, but that that looks kind of cool. We got the IKEA here at least. Let's keep it. Now, train track. So, yeah, I'm, I'm truly sorry. I, I might kind of like get better on that department, but hopefully, hopefully you guys don't mind that because I need to breathe. Otherwise, it's going to be crazy, cray cray. So let me just see here. We got the train track going from here. <clears throat> it should be going. I'm going to be destroying so much. That's kind of crap because it need, we need to kind of meet up with this over here, I guess. Okay. So, you know what, this is something which I've seen a lot of comments uh, about this that is kind of like just a waste of space and waste of money having those trains going throughout and stuff. <coughs> the thing is, I like them. I like trains. No, can I? Can we squeeze in tracks be below here, by the way? Oh, there's a tight squeeze. No, we can't. Um, I like having this. It's kind of... They look awesome. Like, I mean, it's trains. Who hates trains? This is not perfect, but it will have to do. So what we do here, we take this guy, because it's a guy, of course it's a guy. He's going to be going all the way through the neighborhood. And don't worry about this, because you can see we leave, left some tiles here, so it's still going to be building up buildings here. And then we take, oh crap, there's a highway here. Oh no, can we take it? Stop, pause, collaborate, and listen, can we delete you? It's gonna be a very strange episode today, everybody. Don't hate me. This is one of those episodes which we kinda need to do at some points, I guess. And that goes out to here. <laughs> this is gonna be the derpiest track. It's either that or rise it high above the, the highway. And that's gonna look derp. So let's take it below and be like, yay! Super happy with it. There we go. So now it goes here on this side. So that means we can just extend it somehow. Hopefully there's no more highways coming our way. To about here. Perfect. And now, let's see. You guy. You go up. Hmm. To here. Can you then just go in in that? <laughs> this is kind of cool looking. Oh my god, the traffic. It's those roundabouts, I tell ya. We need to kind of uh, kind of fix them in a later stage and kind of exchange them to better ones. Because they are no bueno. So that should basically work. So if I just resume the gameplay, those guys are going to be building up here in between, right? This goes all the way to here now. And now comes the question. Do we or do we? Oh, it's gooey. No, it's not gooey. Oh, crap. So this is not working out for us. Can I do it some... Uh, hmm. Crap. Stop. No, we can resume the gameplay. Um... You delete, you delete. So you connect. <laughs> With a bridge, that's awesome. Now this guy, can I? You can go up here. This is the strangest creations creation I've ever seen. But it's gonna work. Not really sure about this tunnel thingy over here. But it's something. This game is so freaking detailed that it's just cray cray. Alright, I think what this gives us is a free passage to the main, the first train terminal over here. <clears throat> I don't like this. Can we make another track going alongside about here? Can we squeeze you in somehow? I'm sorry, trial and error, everybody. It is what it is. 
like this, for example. Oh, no way, it's on a little hill as well. That looks brilliant. So that comes in here, and now is the question. Can we connect U-Train to this? It works, and what this is hopefully going to give us is trains not really... There we go, perfect. Trains not really intended to go to this one will just go past it. Because otherwise, that is just going to be like a, like a waiting queue. And that is something we need to figure out on all train stations, I guess, because we have a few of those. Okay, so that is set up. Now let's go back to the airport over here. It is. No! <laughs> no! Crap! Oh no. But we did save it. Oh, it's getting purred again, so don't worry about that. So, right, over here, we do this. We do a train line going from you guy um, to the first one over here. Then end to the main guy here. Then it reverses on itself, goes back to this one, and then goes back to the airport. And hopefully, this is gonna be purdy. <coughs> As you can see there, stop, pause, collaborate, and listen. I did download a mod, which I think is called Auto Line Color, color or something. And that means, like, as soon as you place a line, it assigns a color to it. So you don't really have to go in and kind of change it yourself. And that, this is brilliant, because otherwise, every single track gets the default one. It kind of semi sucks. So this kind of fixes that issue. So totally, totally could recommend that. But now, let's see here. Where's the first train? Do we want to go out from the city or do we want to go into the city? Let me just see. Where is the train station? There we go. There it is. Should that be popping up? Yes. Perfect. You know what? Let's go for a ride. This is going to be one of those, those, those rides. I never usually do those train rides, but it's pretty amazing. Oh, it's a train in, in the track. Doesn't matter. If this lags, by the way, I'm truly sorry. But I just want to test this out. See how amazing it, it looks. I mean, I know people hate the trains. Well, some people hate the trains. Some people love. It. I love trains, but uh, it does add so much to the whole to the whole thing. Just just take a peek at this. Doesn't this look amazing? Just soaring through the city, you can see buildings on both sides. Uh oh, crap! That is not that is not pretty. Did I just see streetlights <laughs> burning dead people? It's beautiful. Then we got this football stadium here, which tons of you hate, by the way. But hopefully you guys change your mind, because I think this is a great asset to the city. Oh, look at that. At the airport in the distance, you can just see the airplanes touching down and stuff. That is so cool. It looks so freaking realistic, if you know what I mean. Hello, hot dog van. Let's speed this up. It seems to be working out. Can you just see those airplanes taking off? Things that make me happy. This is pure epicness. I'm glad you guys enjoy the city, by the way. And now, let me see. Do you take that road in here? Yes, you do. Perfect. See, this is kind of working out any who's. And then it just loops around, picks up some passengers and dogs. Bam! That is just beautiful. So we solved that issue. The next thing would be, we got that, the subway track. Let me just see here. Go into subways. We got the station set up here, by the way. We got a few stations set up here, so let's see here. If I want to take, like, what would be the most logical way to do this? <clears throat> like, the most logical way would be to take it into this regional airport, right? Like, connect those two, because, and then go through the city. Okay, I have been doing some thinking, and I think what we need to do, the most logical thing would be to take it out to Waterpool Regional Airport, and then just connect it through the city. So, let's see here. We have a few lines going here, so let's maybe put one, put one here. Then we don't, let me see here, we got one here, one here. Should we take one here just because we can? Let's do it. Let's one take one more. And there's gonna be sad faces. We're gonna be like happy faces as soon as we connect it, I guess. And can you go like? I know it's not pretty. And oh no! 
Why can't I do slope to steep? Are you kidding me? With slope. There we go. Perfect. Um, I'm really like trying to make this as pretty as possible, I guess. I don't know why, but that is just kind of how I roll, I guess. Why can't you connect to that? Well, that doesn't matter. We can just take it out here, I guess. You know what we could do? We can just do this. We don't really want to... We can just take it just underneath the radar track somehow, just to take it out here. And I know this is a subway. It should be like the closest way, I guess, but we, we're doing it. Don't worry about it. Then this goes, let me just hear, this goes out from this guy. No, you know what? Let's maybe take it on this guy over here, because that's going to be better. Because if we build something here in later stage, like sub suburbs or whatnot, then we can just connect it easily through some stations as well, just in case we want to do that. Bam! And you go down to that. Then we got a line, I guess. So, let's see here. I'm gonna pick a line. So, whoop, you start about here at this terminal. You go to this station, go up here, uh, go down here, and then out through the city. So, first stop is here. Two, three. Look at those happy faces! Uh, four. Oh, uh, crap. Where is this? The okay, it goes about here. So, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, you go to this stop. You go to that stop. There's going to be a lot of stops on this line, though. But I think we're going to succeed with this anywho. And then it goes back to... goes into the, the regional airport. And then it should loop back on itself again. And close it off here. Complete line. What color do you get? A purpley one? Or pinkish? Purple? So that is working out. And if we just check um, this little tab here, we do have about 9,000 passengers are using this per week. Um, 6,221 are using the, the, the subway. Let's just see on the budget. We're gonna. I'm going to boost down the trains to 50% because they look beautiful. They look beautiful, but we don't really need that many. Uh, metros are at 150, buses are gonna be on 100. There we go. And some of you hate the trains. Look at how beautiful this looks. Look at all those happy people down there. <laughs> I freaking love this game. Sorry, I had to make a little cut in the video. I've had this horrible cough throughout the day. I knew it was a bad idea running around town in just my mankini, but hey, it is what it is. So if you can hear kind of, kind of, like a chiseling noise, besides my annoying breathing, that's the cough, so I'm truly sorry about that. But, so, we fixed subway, we fixed the train tracks, buses is the next thing, but you know what, I just don't want to bore you guys to death doing that now. So let's do something else. We did unlock this, a monument, the space elevator, which I don't really know what it is. People near, far, where, and people near and far travel to the city to see the space elevator. This means a huge influx of tourists who also like to spend money while visiting. <laughs> what the hell is it? You know what, let me just place it here in town some about. Uh, let me just, just for now, okay, just to see how it looks. How much does this cost? One and a half million bucks. Upkeep. 16,000 per week. Are you shitting me? Pop it down. <laughs> Look at those balls. What the hell is this? They got balls. Is this kind of like a beam me up, beam me up Scotty machine from Star Trek? It ain't purdy. I, I, you know what? I don't like futuristic stuff for reasons unknown. It's just not my preference, I guess. But what does it do? Space elevator. Get lots of tourists with the space elevator. Passenger service last week. So is this some type of space machine or what? You know what? I have been thinking, by the way. I dislike, as soon as we turned on the high-tech housing, and all those buildings turn like this. Don't get me wrong, it's a cool model, but it's just not my preference, and I don't like them. I know you can download some some different ones from the from the Steam Workshop. The only problem is it doesn't do it because after a while everyone turns into the same building anyhow. So I kind of wish they've added more possibilities so you can have more variation in buildings, I guess. But hey, <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. But this I don't. Passenger service last week, forty-two. What do you do? 
everybody if you know what this is please do let me know it it ain't pretty though it ain't pretty and talking about pretty stuff i did grab something without balls i grabbed a few of those skyscrapers jake is skyscraper we got the torres already we got the ibm building for example we also got the trump world tower and one chase manhattan plaza i don't know what that is i mean that would look kind of cool placing here in this district about what you guys think about that you know what let's do it he about here on the river bank or lake bank doesn't it, you can't call it lake bank but you know what i mean right so let's see here the solo let's paste that here about just to check it out mm-hmm mm-hmm it is something at least without balls so I like that. Let me just see here. Um, Jake is skyscraper. Oh, it's a small one as well. Let me just take that Trump Tower. How big is that? <laughs> oh, it's humongous. It is It is prettier than the, the Burj, Burj Khalifa. Don't get me wrong. A creator of it. Just a brilliant building. It's just not my style. I think this is going to be just a pure win. Okay, so we got the Trump Tower. What else did we have? We had the one chase Manhattan Plaza, so let's maybe pop it down about here. Oh yeah, baby. This is taking shape, and I think from distance, this is gonna, just going to look absolutely bananas. So let's see here. The thing we are missing is the IBM building, right? JK Skyscraper, did you place this? No, we did not. So let's pop it down about here. Close my eyes. And the IBM building. Where are you, IBM building? There we go. There it is. Oh, this is a fatty. You know, it doesn't matter. Yeah, perfect. It is something, I think, like, from distance, like, just checking. Let's go to One Wood Hills up here. How does it look from distance? Can't really see it. <laughs> yeah, we do. Can you see how the definition kind of changes in the city's skylines? <laughs> because this is city skylines. No, I think the skyline is just more amazing so let us keep that i guess and this i can't get my head around it 179 passengers served last week so it has to do something with passengers as well not just a tourist attraction because usually tourist attraction is just this visitors last week so it can't be just i, I just don't know are you done you done pick up that people now you pick up dead people now there we go so that is solved we got skyscrapers we got that pretty much this is gonna this is gonna be moved by the way so don't worry about that but let's move in here about let's do some some suburb as well because we need to expand and i know people maybe don't like this this my design and i don't know but but i think is this is this is a way to squeeze in or no what we could do is take this road go up here about about here then we can do maybe this one goes out. Let me just see here. That is kind of left a gap for this. We can place commercial zones here later on because the demand is pretty high on that. So we can do that. But we can do this. Then take you out a little bit. Maybe like a half tile and tweak it. Um, one of the most requested, uh, like asked questions uh, in, the, in the comments. I like that. I think it's going to give us a nice curvature here on, on the suburb. And let's do the same here about uh, the most like one of the most asked question is ooh, can i put up the world save download for the for for waterproof and that is something i'm planning to do as soon as we can end the series i know <laughs> i know <laughs> oh i don't want to end it not now though but as soon as we can uh, fill the city with stuff and there's no more room or it just looks perfect and finished we gonna or i'm gonna because I'm just a person. Um, I'm going to put it up. So don't don't worry about that, everybody. I kind of need to figure out how to... Where is it? Do you go here? No. Crapper. Let's see here. Is it here? Then delete that and take it down. So that should be something like that. And then we go here. Uh, I kind of need to figure out how to... Get everything in the save. If everybody... And if anybody has done that already. Like put up your city on the Steam Workshop... How d and you have assets and downloaded stuff. How do you do? <laughs> do you do? Do you do? No, but uh oh, but how do you kind of combine everything you got? Because I don't want to have like people like 
try to download this and then I have to download this building and stuff like that. So if you have any suggestions, please do let me know. More than welcome. Something like this, everybody. Then what we could do is maybe... We can keep that here in the middle, I guess. And then what we could do here on this side is just take it out. Oh, crap. This is tricky. -icky. How do we want this to be? One of those episodes, everybody. Expanding. Maybe something like you go here. Then a bendy shape for the bendy people. Yeah, so if you have done that, please do let me know. That kind of looks pretty. That kind of looks perfect. Because, yeah, I, can, I don't want people like to try to kind of figure out which building I've used here. They need to download that. It's going to take absolutely forever. Something like this, for example, all right? Then this road here can be upgraded to maybe an avenue or something. Just so we have a little cool shape going here in the middle. Because there's going to be a little traffic. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be like humongous amount of traffic. But there's going to be traffic. Bam. Perfect. Now we need to pipe it up. And bam. Perfecto El Mundo. So that has got water. Now let's zone it up. And a sinking. What do we need to have here? We need some services. That's for sure. But first is first. Let's place... A little bit of residential zones, I guess. Because we do have a little slight demand. And I've been seeing people like asking me, like, how do you have demand? I don't have any demand whatsoever on my city. And honestly, I have no idea how that mechanic works. At this point, I'm just happy having some demands. And the only demand I'm gonna about is is the commercial demand because it kinda doesn't seem to end. Like never ending demand for that. So that kind of makes me a little sad. Perfect. So that is a lot of zones. Uh oh you don't go go you maybe go away here. Can play something else here. In between here though. Should we? Yeah, let's do it. And then what we could have is like a little like low residential or I mean low density commercial zone around the perimeter here on the outside. Stop, pause, collaborate and listen. Resume the gameplay. Speed it up and see if people actually move in here because that's going to be kind of semi-amazing. Something like this. Very simple, but yet again, it's kind of kind of sweet looking, I guess. I like this, this type of suburbs because we can squeeze in so much in the little amount of space we got. And space is something which we might be lacking even though the map is big i don't know like i mean this takes me back to the sim city sim city five days as we call it i guess or sim city 2015 14 or something 2013 i was oh the map sizes on that made me cry so bad i i freaking hated that like it was so small I built like a, I, I tried to build like a suburban city and i mean you can't really squeeze anything in that it's just beep no more space and it's like ah this though this though humongous can you jump if i place you here will you jump perfect i freaking love the little relay nothing ugly just a little box so that's gonna those people are gonna be moving in as sinking though where do we want this road to go do we want to kind of like curve oh maybe to that road over here just going underneath the highway like that and the same this road can go out here and then meet up with this six lane road over here. Possibilities for the future. Question is though, if we should... Let's see here. Should we maybe... Because what I see now, I see all those red trains as well. And they are coming from outside the city. So basically, if we kind of connect it to this guy over here, that should elim eliminate them going through our city. Because... We don't really want that trains because my train tracks are not really made for handling that amount of trains. So let's see here. First is first. I can just hear my chiseling noises all the time when I'm breathing. When I'm breathing, and I'm 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 tr I'm truly sorry. I I hate c my cough. Like this, for example. Then this goes out here. Perfect. So that means. This, those red trains should be traveling about this way now. And hopefully that's going to eliminate a lot of traffic. <laughs> or maybe that's going to give us more traffic. I, you know what? I just don't know. I just don't know. But what goes for the next thing is we need a, a bus line here as well. So let's just sink here. Bus stops. 
if I start here, for example, or maybe even no here. Let's place one here, go to this side, place one on this terminal. No, let's start here. One here, one here, one on this side, then into the roundabout and go around to this terminal over here. And that's going to go to the metro station and whatnot. So that is kind of perfect. Then it goes up on the highway here. Oh, sweethearts, you need water. I'm going to fix that. Don't worry about that. Then it goes maybe in. Let me see here. It goes. Where's the highway going? Okay, so it goes up in that loop, goes down here. So one outside the uh, Sony Ericsson Globe Arena, one here, then maybe one um, here. So we can kind of cover the aquarium if needed, cover the art gallery here, then go into the main terminal here. <laughs> this is so confusing. Then we can maybe just, maybe just follow the, the old bus stops back so it turns here it goes into this guy it goes over here and they don't they don't really have any so let's add one here let's add one here and is that let me just hear is that going up okay so that is going up on the highway so basically what we could do is just go back here and connect it back on maybe here and then go back perfect we have freaking fixed it and it got a, a little color as well so let's see if we just head back to town oh what's going on stark tower is on fire are you kidding me how does that look there's a lot of people down there oh it's kind of like a fire oh this is a this is beautiful by the way well not the fire itself people might die but look at the little happy faces down there they don't care <laughs> what are you spraying? Come on, you spraying the people, huh? huh? You fixed it? I mean, this is just... This is, it's so freaking cool just checking out those little bits and pieces. Alright, so let's see here. The main bus terminal is here. And there's all those new buses heading. Let me see here. How many passengers? Six. Nine. You got how many? Five. I think, like, I mean, the more stuff we add like, like this, the better it's going to get it on the public transportation system, even though it costs money. But you know what? I can afford it. I'm not worried about that. Bam. Perfect. So those guys are moving in. The commercial zones are fixed. If I go back here, what I kind of want to do here, though, if I just check the policies, I never do stuff like this, by the way. Let's add free public transportation in the zone because it's an airport is going to be they can use the the metro and stuff like that I guess I don't know if that's going to affect us that much what comes to money city planning biz big business benefactor personal or large businesses you know what why not I don't really have much small business as well high rise ban heavy traffic ban no that's kind of cool well not maybe not cool cool but it's cool smoke detector distribution there's not really no any houses here now it's pit ban. <laughs> Nah, okay, so that is that is perfect. But then if we go into the Farmville district, here maybe what we could do is industrial spacing planning. Allow industry to work even more effectively by overlooking a few work safety laws. Doubles the amount of goods produced by industry buildings. Upkeep six bucks. You know what? I can afford here. We don't really have much here. This is just for pertinence at this point. But this is going to be expanded. So I think it's going to look really amazing. So that is about it. Aid. We have fixed. Every single public transportation system is kind of added here. See, those trains are already using that little thing. So that makes me kind of happy. Just so much traffic here. And it's so fucking cool to see those airplanes just taking off and whatnot. Question if, if they take off here and land on the regional airport. Because that's going to kind of be a very short ride. Crap, look at the distance and the skyscrapers we just placed. breathtaking we also need to spend a little time on those little gas station taking and put them all over the city because i think that's going to be a pure win as well but what goes through this episode is there anything else i knew there was something i downloaded oh this by the way the recycling center this is something new 
where do we place it you know what just to try it out let's place it about here just to show you guys how it looks it's a full service recycling center including a facility where citizens can drop off their own recyclables just brilliant garbage trucks 727 it does cost a little bit uh, 1400 per week and it costs 30,000 to build noise pollution 100 questions how do we place this guy um hmm. let me just take out the road just to, just to try this out uh you take out the road to about here and just for now just to take it out and just to try it out okay so we can place him here on this road now okay so that's perfect so delete you and that is a one-way street for reasons okay bam so this is something where a citizen can drop off their own stuff and I'm, f I'm hoping they will do that. That would be brilliant. And this is something which is not from, from in-game. This is something which somebody created. Recycling drop-off zone. Household waste. Are you freaking kidding me? The level of detail. Oh, look at this. Clear glass, brown glass, paper, cans, shoes. Shoes. How often do people <laughs> throw away shoes? No freaking way. Are you kidding me? The level of detail is just incredible. I'm kind of thinking, like, I'm wondering if people are actually going to be going into this guy and doing their business. It is cool. So everybody, you know what? I'm not going to keep you guys longer. I'm, I just I just feel like I'm wasting people's time. But we didn't really do much in this episode, but we did fix a bunch of problems. Nobody saw that. We did fix uh, bits and pieces, so I'm happy. I think this is going to look absolutely majestic as soon as those guys move in. Let me just play some bushes. Let me know what you guys would want to see in the next episode. Because it's kind of cool, like, picking up a suggestion from you guys and then just kind of trying to do it. I know those bushes are going to be removed, but for now, I think this is going to look really pretty. We kind of need to connect this. I'm going to figure out how we want that uh, for the next episode, I guess. But I think this road will be meeting up with that road over here. Because I think this is going to be... That's going to be very beautiful. Damn, I love this. Okay, you know what? Let's just end it on like a train train ride into town. So, everybody, let me know what you want to see. Because I'm... I'm I, it's so cool. Like, you know, you're giving a suggestion and I'm trying to, to do that, that in the next episode. I, I think that's kind of how, how I want to play this game. Like, you guys helping me out and stuff like that. Because then we're doing this together and it's kind of like a nice feel. Damn, this is so awesome. Take a peek at this. And um, I'm sorry if this episode was a derp. But we need those episodes. This is what this game is all about. This is not a tutorial video. This is me playing a game, I guess. Damn, this is awesome. You stop. You pick up people. You move. I'm a little bit of worried about a few turns. But that looks brilliant having those buildings on the sides. Once again, I'm sorry for breathing during my videos. It's not intended, but something is telling me I need to do it to stay alive. So I'm, I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know, everybody. I'm so happy that I started playing this game. That is something you guys all also ask. Like, should I, is this game worth buying and stuff like that? I would say yes, but do check if your computer can handle it before you do it. Oh, this is it's beautiful. Because uh, it is it is semi laggy. As soon as you start using a lot of like detail and the start the city starts to be bigger. I mean, look at the amount of traffic we got all over the place. I mean, stuff like this is just cray cray. Look at that, and everything kind of kind of kind of takes away a little bit of the power of, on your PC, CPU, and graphic card and whatnot. So do check out if uh, the recommendation for the game, I guess. But this game was launched with a discounted price so yeah like i mean i would give the double uh, for the game to be honest i think it's worth it well worth it but do check out if your pc can handle it why you be low land value you want a park or something we're gonna fix you don't worry oh there's a lot of them complaining about things <laughs> but everybody sorry Thank you so, so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. There's so much we need to fix, but for what we've done today, I'm happy. I think we made some progress when it comes to public transportation, at least, in uh, from the airport area 
think we need to fix the city as well but it's gonna happen in a later stage don't forget hit the like button if you did enjoy and hope I mean, I'm hoping to record for tomorrow as well, but I am not sure if I can make it though. So if you don't see anything tomorrow, I'm truly sorry, but it's gonna be back as soon as possible. Much love, stay awesome everybody. This is Kiralis, leaving you from Loop City of Waterpool. This is a pure win, those skyscrapers just did that area, otherwise it would look so awful with just having those guys. Damn, it's nice. <laughs> Much love, see you guys and bye. Hi, I'm back. I forgot, we need to name a district for the next episode, and this is the district everybody, the old industrial district, it is called Mulberry at this point, and it doesn't fit the theme, so just spam away in the comment section, much love, stay awesome, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode, bye bye.